Hello guys, it's the Gino back with another Minecraft video, and today we're in Ticket. Uh, I just want to show you guys what my multiplayer Ticket world is on, um, is like, uh, my world number one, uh, because I have a second world that we just started. Uh, so this is, um, we, we, we did a, uh, video of this, uh, showing basically everything, giving you guys a tour, and, uh, I don't think I've uploaded it yet, but, uh, so this is gonna be uploaded, uploaded before the this so uh real quick let me do this and then clock doesn't really matter how I type it anyway so I'm just gonna go ahead um <clears throat> and uh show you basically what I've done so far this is just a tour of my uh my little area my chunk uh, cause basically, so far, only me and, um, Alex, uh, aka the Fire Potato, Toast 312, whatever you want to go, uh, you want him to go by. Uh, basically, what we've done is, uh, cut off a huge bit of our own land, and made it our own land and claimed it. And, uh, he put regular fences up, which, uh, it's okay. Uh, I decided to go a bit different route and make iron fences, which are obviously more expensive. But, uh, <laughs> I don't really know if they make any difference. <laughs> they just look better in, to me in aesthetics, unless you're using the default. I, on the other hand, is using specs. <laughs> um, grammar fail, I think. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so right here, let me make sure my mic's not on mute, because I have done that before in the past. All right. So anyway, so first thing I've done, I've done is expanded this. Uh, you'll probably see most of this, most of this, some of this is brand new, uh, this whole place, but most of it is old, uh, you'll see in another video. Uh, but I expanded this, this used to be just this making two lanes of it, so I made, I went ahead and made a couple more, uh, block breakers, uh, two more rows of them. So, uh, now it is generating, I think, what, 30, 30 cobblestone, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, five yeah, 30, 30 blocks, um, per two seconds, or 15 blocks per second, uh, it's giving me, if it were going per, per second, uh, also, I set up this little security door, door that I think I've shown in the past, uh, wait, I gotta block, well, I could block this off in the video editing stuff, so go ahead, click enter, because I, I, you guys really don't care unless you'll be in my world eventually. Uh, but right now, y'all don't even know my IP address, which I could give out. Uh, right now, I'm not going to. But right now, yeah. Uh, so this is what I put in the, uh, the, uh, in my factory number one so far. So far, I've put some lamps, some orange lamps on every floor. Uh, two for each, but I, they don't really light up the room that well, so I, I still have torches uh, basically everywhere I had them except for the roof. Uh, those are removed. Uh, this is right here is connected to my automatic cactus farm, which you might have seen earlier in the video. So basically what happens, there's a teleported pipe down there, or obsidian pipe, picks it up, sends it to a teleport pipe, the teleporta teleporter pipe sends it that sends the cactus over to this teleporter pipe, sends it down here, goes in this chest, instantly takes it out, almost instantly, not really, uh, puts it in this little electric furnace, turns that into dye, turns this into pipe waterproof, because I won't need green dye, uh, I might, and if I do, I could just take it out of that, but, uh, that won't be a big deal, and basically puts it in here, because last time I tried to make my, uh, because I had geyser right here originally, which is gone now, uh, which filled up a lot, um, there's still a little bit of oil left, but anyway, I put that in there and I had to make a bunch because I didn't have my diamonds to make teleportation pipes at the moment. But yeah, that's that. Um, over here I got two, my two cores. Uh, that one, mine quite a bit. I'll have to empty them. Um, the, oh gosh, I'm assuming this filled up and, oh, uh, that's not good. That's not good. <laughs> uh, I got my mass fabricator here with, oh my god, that scrap made three UU matter. That's quite a bit. Uh, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven MFE set up, because if you include the one at my house. Um, so I made seven MFEs, uh, I think, 
I, I don't even know what I said. And I got an MFSU here, but it blows up all my stuff, so I'm still trying to figure that one out. Uh, well, actually, I'm not anymore, but I could use that. Eventually, I'll move it and use it. Then I got my, uh, all of those are connected to my nuclear reactor, which I'll show you my little setup. Uh, it's completely, it, it cannot explode this. I know that I use a program. I will put the link in the description. So, yeah. Here's my, uh, Mach 2 Relay. Uh, and, uh, that's making a, some client, or charging up my client star, because I use that all on what I'll show y'all in here in a minute. What I've been working on and still working on. And up here is basically nothing. This table was going to be for some in computer craft. I was going to put like a game program on here and it was going to be connected to a monitor. Uh, but then I realized it was a bit hard to do so. I kind of gave up on that. And uh, then I turned it into a clock and I moved the monitor and stuff down there. Uh, so I still need to destroy this uh, or I could leave it but I'm not too sure. Uh, that's my client star thing in there. My Mach 2 in the middle with these, whatever they're called, obviously that one's filled up, they're all filled up, I guess, and there's one on top, um, I've also, all, blah, 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 blah. I've also, I've also heard that, uh, jack-o'-lanterns help quite a bit, uh, cause lighting, or something like that, uh, then I got my enchantment table here, which is pretty much useless, cause I'm not, I'm assuming this is a, uh, just for, if you're on a server and you're opt, if you press, X? No, C. Not C. X. Oh no, you gotta be in your inventory. Press X. And it'll give you this enchant level. Basically, you can enchant whatever is enchantable. And, uh, it will come out with your enchantment. And, uh, basically, I, I already have it set to 10. Uh, I have a bunch of those bows. And basically, it doesn't take any of your EXP. So, if I were to unenchant this, obviously, I'm not getting any EXP nor am I losing any, so that's real good. Uh, I think it's only working, it only works for admins of a server. Um, maybe ops of a, uh, ops, uh, people that are opt, but, uh, so far I think it's for only the admin, I'm not sure. Um, then I got my ores chest in here, which I don't have anything to put in there. I still need to get rid of that bucket, I believe. But yeah, so basically that's that. So usually what I do here, I have a plug it, quite a few plugins in here. Uh, the Estenol is the famous one. Yeah, and I'm also condensing these, which I don't need to, but this thing would overflow pretty quickly if I didn't have some condensing in there. Uh, that was me making this void ring, which was weird, but it worked. I uh, got one dark matter in my gem of eternal density, which I had to make two, but it was possible. Because actually I took two red matter, or some red matter, and use that to condense more dark matter so let me see how much UU matter I have this is all basically my valuables oh I thought I had more UU than that so uh, I kind of sorted here not real good but uh, everything every machine in this building has four overclockers I actually just made that improvement uh, except for this one because I don't know if where overclockers go uh, yeah <laughs> Uh, this is my, uh, 7th MFE hooked up to a generator, which I don't even need anymore, honestly. And a solar panel, which I don't need anymore, but I, I'd prefer to keep the solar panel just in case that runs out of energy. All those up there, and this starts losing energy, I'll have a backup, and, uh, then this I could, uh, destroy. I could destroy both of them, but I, they look good. Then I got a jukebox here, because I have three music discs. I believe maybe I spawned in cat, but I definitely got these legit. I was trying to get cat, so. Um. There's my waffle bucket. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Then I have my gym and internal density. Uh, we'll probably put that in the, uh, quarries. Uh, core chests. My void ring. Uh, I'm just gonna put. Th this where all my valuables go. I said that, I think, once, but yeah. Anyway, so. That's basically that, uh, what I've put in there, and then that's my house. Uh, here's an alarm. Uh, this one's kind of useless, but it's an industrial alarm. And then I also have a switch, which I think is kind of broken, unless I repaired it, which will basically send off a alarm over there and over there. And there was a third one over there, but 
PS2 player. Um, he was dumb and messed with the admin of the server, so he got banned. And I basically, I'll show you his house. Well, I kind of repaired it, so it, I mean, not his house. I just repaired the land, so it doesn't look too bad. But yeah, I basically used my miracle eye anyway. So in here, I got my barracks sort of thing. Uh, I got loads of diamond armor because I'll show you how many diamonds I have. Because Lucas, PS2 player, he gave me, I think it was 32 diamonds uh, every day and every night. So I had low, oh no, stack of diamonds. I think every day, like day and night cycle. Uh, 32 per day and night, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, he basically uh, was a faggot. Um, so he's gone, but he gave me loads of diamond, uh, and then I also had some iron armor for lower ranks. Basically, I'm, like, the military. We're trying to, like, make a civilization thing here. I have some fire rods, which I made for no reason. Uh, yeah. I made some cro- or I had some crossbows with, uh, 20 crossbolts. Crossbow bolts. I need to make some more muskets with bayonets, or just muskets. I have this in here to repair my weapons. And armor. Uh, right now, I'd be using my. Uh, uh, I've been using my uh, red red matter armor that Lucas was retarded. PS2 player was retarded to make. I don't even know how he got that much, but it's all gone now. And we were gonna steal his stuff, but we let it disappear because I think he sh he cheated to get it all. Then also, I was like, yeah, I don't even think it's worth keeping. So, uh, yeah, and then I got also my wrenches in here, but, uh, those don't need to be in here. So, yeah, that, uh, that sums that up. Over here, we've got a little training area. I set up some dummies, uh, training dummies. Uh, they're not really the greatest thing to shoot at, if you think about it, because it will just bounce off. That's what I don't like about them. They should update them to where it will, like, actually stick in them or something. Uh, have it, or, there's a mod out there, the sticky mod, where it, like, gets arrows to stick on you. It's not sticky mod, but, like, it's called something like that, sticky arrows or something. And when you shoot an arrow at a player, it will stay on them. And it used to be in a vanilla Minecraft, but they took it out, which I thought, I didn't know about that, but once I heard about it, I thought that was shitty. Um, I have also, also I have four watchtowers made out of iron scaffold. Uh, nether portal right here, my rubber tree little sapling farm thing, or just rubber tree farm thing over there. Got my pool with a little tiny hot tub that actually works. I got some igniters set up, so that's sort of cool. Got my clock right here, right by the pool. Uh, that's for swimming pur purposes for training the military. My cactus farm, obviously, and my automatic cact cactus farm, uh, which is working out great. Um, my oil, which actually I think I'm still getting oil from a geyser, if I'm correct. I'll go show you that in a minute, uh, at near the end of the video. Um, so I got some oil being refined. Actually, I think it stopped, but it was being refined. And here's all the fuel I've gotten so far. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to use that right now. I think it's just for aesthetics. Uh, uh do we, um, real quick before I show that off. Alright, so this is going to be my second factory here. Made it about as tall as that one over there. Uh, I made the base out of sca iron scaffold. Uh, sort of like this. Uh, I was going to make it two layer, but that's too much iron. I mean, I thought my client star was going to make it through all this. But it's not. Um, later I'm going to add some gold. Uh, add the aesthetics. Basically, on the, basically everywhere you see these, these uh, pillars of scaffold. Right here, holding these other scaffold up. Basically, everywhere those are, I'm on the outside, on the outer wall, is where a gold block will be. And then, I'm not sure if I want to destroy this or not, for people that will not have this. But most, everyone that's not banned from this world, which is basically everyone except for one person, um, is, uh, is able to fly. Uh, me and my friend have the flying ring, the swift wolves. Ren, uh, rending ring, Gale, the, um, in the, and Nick, Nick Scout, has, uh, a jetpack, so, uh, which we used to use, but, 
that was back in the olden days. And then I got my miracle eye right here. So yeah. Um. So basically, that's that. Um. So I don't think I'm done with this world. Everyone else thinks they're done. They don't like it anymore. They think it's boring. I think as long and also I'm invincible, so that's pretty cool. But also, I, I think, especially with Tech It and all the mods installed, it never gets boring. I mean, you can never stop until you've gotten every single thing. Which I'm possible. Pause. Po I'm. I can't even say the word I'm thinking of. I'm for sure positive. Yeah, that's the word. I'm positive that not all of us combined, all our stuff combined, has every single item in tech it maybe every th single item in minecraft vanilla but not in tech it there's just too much too expensive especially with this i mean look at this you you couldn't have this i'm including everything in here it never gets boring and now i'm getting some lag spikes for some reason but yeah so <laughs> i'm sorry um so that that's gonna be my new uh new factory I'm um, probably gonna end up adding windows. Not too sure. Definitely adding uh, some decoration. Uh, real quick, let me show off my quarries. Here's uh, my first quarry that finished. Uh, my first quarry whole thing that finished. That actually wasn't there. Uh, my friend broke it a block, and there was lava on the other side. So that's what happened. Um, then here's my quarry. My second quarry that went down quite a bit. Uh, it's about to hit some redstone, some iron coal. Uh, quite a bit of stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty deep. This obviously hit some water, but that might be f pretty good, actually, once you think about it, because <laughs> cause if this thing runs lava, and that's pretty crazy how yeah, lava was right there, actually. I think actually I saw this and I put that lo that water there, but well, I don't think I'm going to remove it for now until I see some more lava, because it will go back and destroy the blocks again. I'm gonna destroy this and get rid of all that water. Just look at that sea of water, huh? Um, so real quick, let me show you my oil place. Oh, is this causing me lag? You wanna cause me lag? Man, that's not cool. Anyway, pr probably this is not the only thing I'll record and try and upload today. Uh, if not today, it's gonna be tomorrow. Definitely. <laughs> so here's my, uh, little, uh, pump pumping out some oil I believe it these pipes bro these teleportation pipes it will mess mess the look up um, I, don't, I don't like it the uh, teleportation pipes they're very buggy um, teleportation pipes are really buggy uh, and just not not fun things to use as you get the see this thing is go really slow it's not it's getting close but yeah and I bless the I basically uh, took away all the water so it doesn't pump any water out. But I don't think it's like uh, that one mod or Red Power with the uh, their pipes where it will actually suck up the water in, uh, in the ocean and make it smaller and smaller and smaller and destroy. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, because uh, that's kind of what my friend did. I'll show you his diamond shape little ring thing. Unless it's not that. Ah, there it is. It's pretty small, but. This is what he's caused to the environment. And actually, I pumped out a little bit too from my pool because uh, I would think I thought it was going to take forever if I tried to do that manually. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and go. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Peace.